Hey guys, oh, I gotta wait till I see it on here. Hey guys, welcome back to the Don Dono channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to put a new coil in your Rouleau uh, RX200S or, or you know that's your mod or your Cloud Beast tank. We're going to show you how to replace your coil, how to properly prime it. Um, so basically, here's all your stuff. So we're going to start with this new coil from smock. I'm gonna put this one in. Okay, so then this is the old coil. The reason why we're changing this coil is because this one's burnt. But you can't really notice it burnt on the outside, but what happens is is on the inside of these coils, uh, they get burnt on the inside and then it starts messing with your flavor and you know gives you a bad vape and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and replace it with this new one. Uh, I'm using the RX200S Rouleau. Uh, it's a three battery mod. Uh, it goes up to 250, which is pretty good. Um, so yeah, so let's get right into it. So what I need is a container. Um, you might want to use a container or something to put your new coil into. This is going to be a new coil. You're going to want to when you're going to prime a coil, you want to make sure you soak them down real good on the sides here. There's cotton. So I, I like just to take a little container like this and make sure I so soak it down enough so that on the sides here, on the sides there, that you make sure those are all wet before, you know, you build it all and then put it back in and start popping the one. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to take our G selection, so right now we're going to go with this one. What we're going to do is we're going to prime it real good. As you can see here, we'll just go around the coil, around the cotton like this. Make sure you soak it up real good. Otherwise you're going to get a dry hit. Or it's going to taste burnt or taste funny. So you're going to want to go ahead and soak it up like that. And usually what I like to do is let it soak. And then you'll notice it getting wet as it goes down. So once it gets wet and goes all the way down here, then you want to go ahead and put it all together and fill up. We'll get to that in a minute. So we're going to go ahead and just soak this here real good. You can, I don't know if you can see that at the edge there, but it's starting to get wet there and you just kind of go along. Sometimes it takes a few minutes. Here's a perfect example. At the top it's darker, at the light, bottom it's lighter. So we're just going to go ahead and let that soak in there. So while that's soaking, so when you change your coil out, you want to make sure that all this is clean on the inside here. Make sure all your old juice and all the old sugars and everything is cleaned out real well on the inside. And you want to close this air gap. There's an air gap here. I don't want to close the air gap. And what that does is when you're priming a new coil and put new juice in, as, it, as you do that, you don't want no juice to come through here if you have a bad coil. And it'll help prevent the, the spackling or spatter when you inhale. So you just clean up. Make sure your glass is good, nice and clean from your old juice. Make sure your top's out. Make sure your top's out. Everything's clean on the inside now. You got all those old sugars in there. And starts tasting funny after a while and also to check your gaskets too right check your rubbers make sure they're not cracked broken anything like that that allow extra air into it or extra juice and that's where you're going to get a lot of spackling from and you just want to make sure everything's nice and clean and nice and tight so and, and also while we're waiting here i'll just point out real quick that these o-rings here sometimes they need to be replaced uh, so when you go ahead and you put your glass on and you screw it all down, this this the glass will spin or become very loose to where you can leak juice out here, out the edge here, and you can get too much air in it and you're not vaping properly and it doesn't taste as good. So 
Let's check this here. Yeah, it still needs to be done a bit more, so we're going to go ahead and add some more juice. And you notice, you know, when you prime it, don't be stingy on your juice. You know, make sure it's well saturated. I know some people that'll, that'll build this up and then they'll put it all together and they'll just add a couple of dabs in the top and then they fill their tank, you know, and you don't get it soaked enough and that's where you're going to get a dry hit or you're going to burn your coal, you're going to burn the cotton and it's going to taste really bad. So just make sure you prime it real well. Uh, there's a lot of theories out there, let it sit for five minutes and all that. But if you prime it real well, then you'll be okay. And you know, also, also know when you open coils, that these rubber rings that are around here, there's little metal prongs in there, right? So what you want to make sure is that those metal prongs are on the inside of that rubber ring. If not, you're going to get leakage in there, and it's going to start coming out your air vent. And you don't want that. So... So make sure it's really primed up and check your coils and make sure they're good to go. You're looking for the best vaping experience as possible. And, you know, you don't want a crappy vape, that's for sure. I've been there and done that when I first started out. Things were really bad. So it looks pretty wet on here. You just triple check it, double check it. We're going to vape soon. We want to make sure it's good. Okay, so a little bit more here, and we should be, that, that should be good. Once it's wet all the way down, once it's wet all the way down, uh, we should be good. So, let's go ahead and fill up this coil. So, right now I'm using the Cloud Beast. It's a good tank. Uh, works really well. It's good for clouding. Um, these coils are really great. You can get the T8V8s, and you can get, you know, a whole whack of different ones. They've got two coils, single coil, shotgun coils, which is a dual, and we're going up to five and sixes and twelves. You know, we're it's starting to get pretty high out there on what we're doing. So just make sure you screw it on top of that. Make sure, you know, it's not too tight, but it's snug. It's not going to go anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and put the glass on. You know, make sure it's all nice and clean. It sits well and everything. I'm going to go ahead and screw the bottom in here. And also make sure that it's all nice and tight. Super tight. There. So your glass isn't moving. Nothing's moving around. And uh, that way you know you have a nice tight seal. So we'll go ahead and put that on the Rillo here. Now with these... Depending on your coil, depending on where the wattage where you want to start vaping them, um, I'm I'm at just at the recommended setting, so that's where I like it most. A lot of people like it real high, a lot of people like it lower, but if you're in a setup like this, you're obviously vaping at a higher level. So, so we're gonna make sure that we put our gasket in here. That stops extra extra air and everything getting in it sealed it from the juice and everything so you just want to make sure you set it in there real nice sometimes they go in nice sometimes they don't so it all depends sometimes they sit nice and sometimes they don't so we're going to try that again so if we got to line them up line them up real perfect And of course, I'm trying to do this for you guys, and it's not lining up right for me for some reason. So, I'm just gonna close it, make sure she's nice and snug. So, yeah, just make sure she sits down nice and tight in there, and it's good to go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and fill up the juice. Make sure you guys check check your O-rings on here as well. Uh, 
you're going to get extra air and you'll notice it with the heat and the sugars whatever doesn't burn gets collected up in here a lot of the time if these rings are missing or this is real loose you're going to get more juice and more air everywhere and basically you got the juice it starts to go all over your your mod and starts you know getting all slimy and everything so make sure it's nice and clean go ahead and pop that on now that it's popped on uh, you'll want to start at a lower wattage than you normally smoke on uh, to break in the coil um, so we're gonna go down here and we're gonna go like 60 something doesn't have to be exact numbers but you like to kind of to break it in so you want to start at a lower wattage and go from there make sure you open your air vent make sure it's good to go and also it's going to taste a little funny at first they always do it's called breaking in the coil um, they'll, they'll taste real cottony and they'll just taste kind of gross for the fuse first 10 pops or so but you want to break it in so we're going to go ahead and do that now So it takes a little while to get going but once you do that you guys are set you guys are going to like it uh, if you have any questions or comments please subscribe uh, like share comment let me know what you think let me know if, if you need help on anything else and put more videos on vaping if you, this is what, guys, what you want to see or if you need anything else to do with vaping let me know we'll go through different tanks we'll go through all this stuff so uh, and also to remember with the coils that you pick depends on your juices too this juice here it's got a lot of sugar in it so if you're using juice that has a lot of sugar in it um, they're gonna burn your coils out faster um, if you use juices that have less sugar but still have good flavor that's the best thing to do um, we also get homemade juices as well um, that a, a friend of mine does uh, and they're just as good as the premium juices uh, and yet but they have less sugar same taste and you know they're a little bit more cost effective um, I also you know sometimes I'll smoke a, a, a zero milligram and this would be a three you know this is a about a five four point five or whatever about a five from around there these are all threes um, also to remember uh, these rings whenever you go into a vape store and whatever and you see these rings and you wonder what they're for they're not just for decoration actually if you put these rings you put as many as you want on you put 10 on 12 on or whatever ones you can fit these rings actually little rubber rings that you put on these are actually made to protect your glass uh, if you if you knock this over you know by accident you're gonna hit this rubber ring here you're you're not actually gonna hit the glass and break it uh, when you buy these they come with second glass and they come with more o-rings and stuff but you don't want to be spending a ton of money trying to replace glass all the time especially you know if the store's closed or whatever so if you want make sure you put the ring on um, you can put more rings on cover your whole glass just to be safe um, I only put one on usually uh, because uh, and then I can't see how much my juice has gone down or when I need to refill but usually when I when I like to refill my juice is I just let it come about halfway in the coil line here then I know it's it's time to replace the or fill up the juice again because realistically you don't want to vape it all the further you go down the longer it takes for this coil uh, to suck in the juice so you might get a dry hit or you might start burning out your coils and things like that so always remember just make sure you keep her it's like a car it's like a gas tank don't always keep her up so high so make sure you just keep it up oh well, halfway through that way you know you're not going to burn your coils so we're vaping on this now it's starting to come through it's a little cottony still a little strong too, and it's a uh, 
different kind of juice. The first time on this juice. But we'll try it anyway. You kind of just crank her up and and then you slowly go up. Right now we're at 68.7. Uh, give it four or five pulls. Go up in wattage, maybe like to the 80s, somewhere around there, 90s. Cut more pulls, and then go ahead and go all the way up to where you normally vape at, and then let the let it break in, and you'll be good to go. See, we're starting to break it in now. So we're gonna go ahead and up the wattage a bit. So we'll go like up into the 82 or something like that. Take a couple of hits off that, see how it works. And we'll just keep going from there. Perfect. So there you go, guys. Uh, that's how you uh, re put a new coil in. Um, that's how you prime a coil. That's how you, you know, make sure your glass is clean. You clean it all. When you take it all apart and take your old coil, you make sure you clean it. Uh, keep it all clean. And another thing too, I should probably point out. Let me take this off here. Let me show you guys this. Let's take off this tank for a minute. You see in here? Okay, so that's where your connection is to your atomizer. That's what sends the power into here and heats up your coils. This sometimes will get full of juice and sugars and stuff. So make sure you don't run it with water in there. Just like take a cloth, paper towel, or something, and make sure you clean in there real good. It'll prevent it from, you know, when you want to go screw it on like this. Lock this down here. And then sometimes, if, if you do that, then it'll, it'll say, uh, no atomizer. It'll, it'll come up in here, no atomizer. That means there's, there's stuff in here and it's not making a connection. So, we'll make sure we get a connection. And, and then, uh, it'll be good to go. So. I need new. I think I need new O-rings in here because it's kind of loose. So, so it kind of pops out here. And this, it seems like this glass is moving a little bit. So I think I need to replace the O-rings on my vapor. But that's it guys, that's how you do it, and yeah, let me know if you like the channel, let me know if you'd like to, like to see what I just did here, all about vaping, and that's it, so enjoy vaping, and until next time, like and subscribe, we'll see you next time.